So coming up now, uh, Yissi Liu is going to be talking to us uh, about MaskBook, a great way to, to not give your data to you know who. Let me um, do some like um, real simple introduction. My name is Yissi, and um, probably you, some of you guys have known me from last year's HCPP because I also went there. If you uh, happen to be there, you will be disappointed because I'll be talking about the same thing. Nah, just kidding. I'll just use the same slides, but um, cut through to something else. So um, a, little, a little bit about me is that um, me and my friends have um, got a startup in Shanghai, um, working on some privacy preserving tools that is open to um, everybody uh, for free. And um, so one thing I'm talking about today is called MassBook. It's a um, browser extension that helps you um, preserve your privacy on the internet. Uh, let me just um, briefly talk about some something before cutting through to the um, to the MassBook. So this is the slides from last year's last year's HCPP. Sorry, uh, I just didn't happen to not to have my slides ready. So I just used the same one. I'll just talk about like privacy for a little bit. And so first, what is privacy? It is a fundamental right that is essential to autonomy and the protection of human dignity. What happened in the past few years, so um, Theo also mentioned Mark Zuckerberg in, in his presentation like the last hour, sorry, but um, Facebook has been um, um, really, um, evil on stealing people's privacy because uh, like one famous one was the uh, Facebook Cambridge analytical data scandal up to like nearly um, 87 million users were affected and they influenced the 2016 American presidential election and Brexit and Mexico general election. And they just say that um, it was an issue, a mistake a breach of trust, but not a data breach. We also had the Equifax data breach uh, happened in 2018, I guess. Um, in fact, um, 145 million users in North America, including me, because yeah, my credit card info and my social security number were all like leaked to the public and and they said it was just a failure of secure implementation of their system, which is a bullshit. Sorry, sorry for this F word, but yeah, maybe some of you guys know this problem, uh, know this issue that um, in um, on March on second, tw 2019, uh, someone on Twitter just reported uh, the most dialogues which are being monitored are typical teenager conversations. He was mentioning um, some um, like MongoDB dump from a publicly accessible uh, website and which happened to be the conversations in WeChat. Maybe you guys know what WeChat is, right? It's uh, maybe it's the most popular um, uh, instant messaging app in the world. Uh, just uh, uh, and then it's, it's super popular in China. You, like, I, I guess like almost everybody in China has WeChat, including foreigners, because without WeChat, you can't, you can't just live here. And then a lot of the uh, dialogues and conversations were leaked during that problem, uh, issue. And then over 1 billion users were affected and over 300 million Chinese private messages are exposed. And what we can see is that um, governments are reportedly monitoring through both social media and some machine apps, not just in China. Like we, in China, we have this Tianyan program. It, it, this, is, this one is just um, translated into Sky Eye or whatever it's called. And we, saw, we also have the PRISM program or PRISM project in the US. Mm -hmm. And not just like Chinese and the U.S. governments are monitoring us, like like in G German governments are monitoring hate speeches, and so on. Like you can you can like find find out on the internet like easily. So why is this important? This is um, some um, really famous joke from last year. 
She smiled and wife asked me what I was speaking so softly at home. I ho I told her I was afraid Mark Zuckerberg was listening. She loved, I loved, Alexa loved, and then Siri loved. Sorry, just sorry for being so like um uh, the, the pay, uh, sorry, just uh, I have to just um hurry up to go to the uh our demo. So we we'll just just get this um joke. It is a joke, right? And um a lot of Chinese companies are reportedly stealing users' privacies and use them as a weapon to um to discriminate like users, like. Like you can see here, for the same route from so this is DD. It's um like Chinese Uber, for the same route from the same like, um, um it all see different prices. So th this one you have like one hundred twenty nine point two, and this one you have like one hundred twenty nine point seven, and this is C trip on the right, and then it's also a really famous um um uh, um. Like uh, just like Chinese price line or Chinese Expedia, and then you will have different prices for the same room of the mm -hmm. same hotel. So these giant companies are using like data or big data or our privacy as a weapon against us. This is now something we can accept. So um, there has been a lot of um, like regulations put on putting e Europe e Union also in California, and we also have one in China, but they're not that useful. I'll just skip the identity part. And then uh, what I want to say is that um, without identities, we cannot have privacy. So what we are trying to solve is the problem with the identities. So there are like um, different types of digital identity solutions so one-to-one -one mapping is these password measurement tools like one password or last password, um, Apple keychains or whatever, but they don't solve the problem. And we also have this like one-to-many mapping, um, um, uh, like open ID. You just have one ID to log on to multiple, um, um, multiple um, services or, or platforms. But it still like doesn't work because look at these names: Google, Facebook, Twitter. Well, sorry, Twitter is a lot better than those two. And we also have like different, um, even like WeChat logins. With with these logins, you, you life becomes easier, but your identity, like largely, depend on their services on their. Um, on credits, they can control everything you have. They know what you use those like account uh, on to log on to which platforms. In the end, they control everything. They control your you yourselves. It still like doesn't. It's still not working. So, what we are trying to solve, what we are trying to propose is the many-to-many many -to -many mapping, which is the decentralized identity. We're now like working on a real decentralized identity protocol um, 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 designing. We're just using key pairs. I'm just skipping, skipping the DIDs from um, W3C. So um, I'll just skip these. So basically, we're just using a key pair as one's identity. And then let me um, just cut through to our math book. After talking about so many like, like random things, I'm just gonna like talk about our like main product a little bit. So what is math book? Math book is a browse extension and each user is a, a has one unified identity, which is just a set to, to, 256k1 key pair. Um, it, it is the uh, Bitcoin curve. So yeah, we're using this to um, better serve the uh, existing blockchain people, blockchain users. And um, you will just have your um, key pair 
to link to your uh, Facebook account and also your Twitter account, actually. And you can create encrypted post that is only um, visible to your friends or some designated recipients. You can decide. And I'm going to show you later. And um, our goal is to um, help you hide from no one but Facebook. Um, just I'll just skip this. And this is a really simple demo. This is my Facebook page. And then you can see that, um, sorry, I just, this is in like Chinese. I'm going to show you a real one later. So um, I'm just skip this one. And the yeah, structure is quite simple. So um, if Alice wants to create a post on Facebook, she just typed hello world. And then it is encrypted by an AES key. Um, it's um, converted to this gibberish. And in the meantime, our MassBook extension will generate an ephemeral key pair, which is also um, 256K1. And then the ephemeral public key will con be contained in the uh, payload on the Facebook. So you will see such um, a payload here. So it consists of um, our like massbook.com and then the uh, the uh, actual actual um, uh, encrypted um, AES key and a um, sorry the uh, encrypted content ciphertext plus the ephemeral public key. So we are using ECIES to share this AES AES key with your friend. So here we are doing a uh, elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman ephemeral to share with Bob, Chris, David, Eva, and Frank. And then everything is synced, synchronized in GandhiDB. We're using GandhiDB because it's a decentralized um, uh, GraphQL database. I'm also going to like sh show you guys a little bit later. So after hearing so much how it works, well, let me just show you. Um, I'm going to just show you the uh, Twitter version of that, not the Facebook one, because Facebook is uh, whatever. All you have to do is click on this compo a Compose Encrypted Post, and you just type something here. Um, I will say, hey, non-con. Sorry for, um, um, I'm only allowed to copy and paste in here because we're building our extension in a shadow root, which conflicts my with my um, Vimeo uh, extension. So um, it'll, the Vimeo will think that uh, I'm still like not typing because it's um, in shadow root, it cannot detect. So yeah, hey, non-con, and then you, you can choose whom to be like visible to. You can choose everybody. It's just going to be um, everybody with the extension can see your post, or you can like decide it could be your friends. Uh, here, the friends in Twitter means um, uh, follow your follower, but uh, follow and the follower on the same time, or you can choose follower of easy your account were followed by. So, I'm just gonna choose everybody here, and then it'll post a so this is, um, I'm, I have enabled the um, steganography mode. So the uh, encrypted decipher text will be hidden in the in image instead of uh, some like um, text. And then you just tweet it. And then it'll see, um, hey, Nankan here, encrypted uh, by MassBook. But what the others will see is, let's see. Um, and then what are you going to see here is suppose it's shared with friends and blah, 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 blah. And then this is the image here. That's all you can see. We hide from no one but Facebook or Twitter. And also you can um, change the mode here. Sorry, um, where is it? Okay, there we go. Um, you can also um, turn off the image mode. And it'll post some, um, yeah, whatever. And everyone and finish. We encrypt the um, the cipher text in this um, in this trick um, because 
Um, typically, you will have 100, 140 um, characters limit in Twitter, but um, they don't limit that in an URL. So you can we have put the ciphertext in an URL so that we can post a, a most like I can't remember, but a few um, kilobytes data. So yeah, whatever, tweet it, and then you'll see that. And the same thing also applies in, in Firefox. So um, what you will see is this thing. Sorry, um, I have a um, mass book on this. So, um, oh yeah, no. So you all, all you will see is this URL, and then our ciphertext is hidden there. Um, I remember that um, in my title or in my um, presentation content, I mentioned that uh, we are connecting the uh, blockchain to the real, the existing internet. So we haven't gone to that yet. Um, let me tell more, like, let me talk about more about this. Um, let me see, this is a Chrome, yes, this is a Chrome. Also, when you are composing some encrypted post, you will find that we have some plugin, experiment, experimental plugin here. You can um, actually send out a wrap packet to the others on Twitter. What it means is that um, um, you can actually send out money on Twitter without like being allowed or something. Because typically, if you want to do something other than just um, tweeting te uh, pure text or images or videos, you will have to back Twitter to add it, right? Because like in 2019, in last year, they just add the polls here. But then uh, you have to, um, if you want something, you have to back for that. You will have to ask them if they can add it to Twitter. But now you don't have this, you don't have to worry about it. You just need our mass book. You just, um, all we need to do is to develop some plugins here. For example, our wrap packet, you can um, create a wrap packet. Um, uh, for someone who doesn't know what wrap packet is, it's a um, traditional Chinese thing that um, in, um, especially in Springs Festival, in New York and uh, in New Year, so typically you can just send out a a red packet here, shares five and attachment messages will be um whatever, Twitter that one, and send out this. It's connecting to a smart contract I wrote like two months ago, and then all it has is um we are just um integrating such a um decentralized app adapt into Twitter. Now you can choose this um, red packet, sorry for being red, and um, whatever. Yeah, or a non-con again, it's better. And finish, and then you can just tweet it. And then we will, the mass book extension will render this, um, this payload into a red packet. All you need to do is to install mass book extension and click on this red packet. And then it'll just give you some random amount of Ethereums directly, which means you can just easily send out some like tokens or 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 or, die, or stable tokens or or just Ethereum's to other people, without like within a an existing um, internet infrastructure. You don't have to like connect to a a a wallet and then send it to someone else. For example, if you don't really know who has this. Uh, um, Ethereum wallet, how could you just send out some money to the others, to them? Now you have this solution. So we have this um, cooperation with MakerDAO, like um, during the um, Chinese uh, Spring Festival. And they were just sending out some dice to the others. 
which was a really good, a, a, a big success. And like Vitalik also tried that, and I guess it was pretty good. And you, you just like you can have those um, functionality as long as you can have your smart contract ready, and then um just um write a um, TypeScript based um plugin on our system, and you can just simply have everything on Twitter without asking. Twitter to add a, to add that functionality. So yeah, I mean we are willing to um, add more um, support from other Ethereum um, ecosystems. We are now um, talking um, about um, we are now talking with other teams on the uh, um, integrations of their DApps or their um, um, airdrops, even airdrops. Yes. To um to cooperate with our extension, so yeah, I mean, I guess we we just extend the um, blockchain somehow to um cooperate with existing internet like in an easy way, and I guess that's my um presentation today.